If you are looking for a very reliable hybrid inverter, I mean inverter that will serve you for a long period of time before you think of changing your inverter, then you should go for any of these five inverters I will be listing. The number one and number two might not be affordable for most people, but they are very, very reliable. Number one is Schneider. Schneider hybrid inverter, very reliable, and I think they are American technologies, but highly expensive. Number two is Growart. Growart also is a very reliable inverter, but very, very expensive. They also have hybrid inverter. And uh, this list I'm talking about, all these uh, inverters I'm mentioning, I'm not talking about solar hybrid inverter. We have solar hybrid inverter and we have hybrid inverter. This list is for hybrid inverter. Number three is most inverter. Those days there are these most inverters that are very, very reliable, which are hybrid. But like these days, most of the inverters which I see are actually uh, solar hybrid inverter. I don't know if they still produce the hybrid inverter. Number four is Felicity. Felicity is a very, very reliable inverter which most people prefer to use over other products. But there's one thing about uh, Felicity hybrid inverter which I've observed for some time. I don't know if some people have paid attention to that. Whenever it's charging, it tends to like cease or stop charging for some seconds, then come back on. So it fluctuates whenever it's charging. Even though the sun is stable, it still fluctuates. It will cut off the charge, bring it back on. That's one disadvantage of Felicity. Number five is Yohako Inverter, which is one of the most underrated inverter. Yohako Inverter is very reliable if you know how to go with them or you know how to do installation using Yohako Inverter. But one disadvantage or one bad side of the Yohako Inverter is their customer service. Yeah, or let's say after service. For example, they might give you warranty, one year warranty, if the inverter get damaged or something happened along the line and you return the inverter, they might end up telling you that your installation was not well done, this wasn't well done, so their warranty clause is very, very poor. At the end of the day, the warranty they gave to you will be void. Even without you opening it, they'll push the blame on you in order for you to pay for the service or for the repairs, and that's very, very poor. So that is one of the things that make your Hakko inverter not too reliable. Because if you are talking about reliability, then you should talk about customer service also. So when it comes to your Hakko, their customer service are very, very poor. And that's the reason I stopped using them for some time. These five inverters are very, very reliable. I mean, these five hybrid inverters are very reliable. Number one is Schneider. Number two is Growart. Number three is Most. Number five is Felicity. Uh, number four is Felicity. And number five is your Hakko. Sorry, I didn't, if I didn't mention what is in your mind, you can still do your research. This is according to my own opinion.